create a culture so we won't be affected by the outside influences out there. But as long as we're living by the Gregorian calendar and their rules and their holidays and their regulations, then we'll be a part of their destruction. For those who need it, even in your Bible it said, come out of her, my people, Revelation 18, that you be not partakers of her sins and her iniquity. For in one hour, such great and mighty a city has been made desolate. This is what it was talking about for those, again, who need the Bible to make it a first surety. This is what it was making reference to. The sad part is we're no longer reading about it, we're living. Overstood? And it's what are we going to do now that we know it's here? It's not a thing about stopping it, it's a thing about surviving through it and thriving on as a people. The computer shutdown, will that be a um, advanced reason for like extraterrestrial involvement? Extraterrestrial involvement has already been, is this, extraterrestrial has been on this planet for millions of years. It was extraterrestrials who were responsible for breeding you and I. Simply realize when we say extraterrestrials, you're just simply saying something extra here on this terrain. Terror. Something extra here. Something that wasn't originally here that came here. Now, as far as the extraterrestrial involvement in 1998, it's way out of hand. The abductions have ceased, but now you have more sightings during the day. The invasion has already taken place. They've already implanted themselves into strategic uh, positions throughout the world. They're already here. You sitting here, a lot of you sitting here are extraterrestrial. You've just been duped and we've been made to believe that you're from here. But there are those who feel a longing to go in and beyond the stars. However, just feeling that is one thing. Doing the things that are necessary to be deemed worthy and respected by the beings, the ancient ones, or the Wikiri, or the Anutu, or the Anunnaki, that's the, the problem that we're having. Understood? So extraterrestrials are already here. They've made deals with this government as far back as the 1940s. Understood? They've already been involved. They dealt with Hitler. They were the ones giving him the technology that Germany had during World War I and II. Overstood? Extraterrestrials are already here. The invasion has already taken place. For those who want to accept it. Because a lot of, some of you are new here. In no way, form, or fashion are we telling you that you must accept that we accept the existence of extraterrestrials. What we're saying to you is at least take the time and go and do some research. And ask yourself questions. Why are certain things the way they are? If you're a religious person and you say you believe in a God who sits up in a place called heaven, then ask yourself, where is this heaven? And if you say up there, then up there means out of space, because everything outside of this atmosphere is referred to as out of space. And if you believe that he had a son, whether it was Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, or whatever religion, Confucius, Buddhism, if you believe that he had a son who came here to guide you, and that son came from him, then that son would have been an extraterrestrial. Nothing spooky. Do some research. Okay? Any other questions? We're going to pass it, Mike. Is Atlanta itself supposed to be some type of environmental experiment? This whole planet is an environmental experiment. See, the mistake that religion, or not the mistake, but the problem that uh, with religion is that it convinced us that we're living on a planet called Earth. When the reality is that we're living in a biosphere, an aquatic biosphere, an atmosphere of water. This is an experiment by different beings. This whole project was an experiment. If you go and read in the Holy Tablets, this project called Urenda was an experiment by extraterrestrials for different reasons, depending on the beings that you make a reference to. In the case of the Anunnaki or the Nikiru who came here, our ancestors known as the Nomos by the Dogon of Mali, or the Dinwins, or the Shishuki, or the Umari, or the Kachina, or the Thunderbirds, depending which culture of ours that you went to. These beings who came here, they were trying to come for natural resources that they needed on their home world, referred to as risk. And so they decided to breed you and I to do the work. Then you have other beings who also came in here, reptilians from Cyrus. And they wanted to come in here and take rule. You have beings from Andromeda. You have beings from Plates, from uh, Aldebaran, from Octodus. 
understood? All this is a big experiment. And the way that you're able to prove it is the fact that you see people walking around today. Everybody has five fingers on each hand. Does everybody have five fingers on each hand? No, everybody doesn't have five fingers on each hand. There's people with six fingers on each hand. There's people born with three fingers. There's people born with no hands. All these different deformities. You have some people born and able to do things like you have this one lady on a, some television show, she can stick her eyes out of her head about four inches. That's not normal to me. Maybe for some, but not to, you know, to those of us who, who have labeled ourselves normal, for lack of a better word. What I'm saying is that in a letter it seems like the, they have like pyramids in, on top of buildings and stuff like that and then they have the five points and they have a lot of things like the Georgia Power Building with the pyramid, the, um, you know, the lightning bolt going through it. It's a lot of buildings and stuff like that. And that, that takes that. place, and that takes place since in every major city. That was the, this is the Nod story again, the Sodom and Gomorrah story, the bright lights. They always set up these cities and they have these structures because they know it's going to bring you in there. And they build these cities with the bright lights to attract the Canaanites. Not the Canaanites, the Canaanites, the descendants of Cain who are attracted to go to Nod. This is what Atlanta is there for. They refer to Atlanta as the Peach City, correct? And they refer to New York as what? The Big Apple. Both of them are worm infested fruits. This is not by mistake. They knew what they were doing. Atlanta has become a little New York. And each state that you go to has their New York or their version of New York. Whether it's Birmingham in Alabama, Jackson in Mississippi, Atlanta in Georgia. Everywhere you go, they have these bright lights to attract you, to make you want to go that way. It's the same thing that took place when the ancient ones came back in your Bible in the book of Genesis. You had two sons that came down, the Nephilim, and those fallen beings referred to as the Nephilim. The Nephilim went on and set up the land known as Nod, overstood under one called Nadimut. And there they established the bright lights and the music and the party and the drugs and all the types of hallucination material and wild sex and nudity. And there was one type of beings or descendants of Kidman who were attracted to go there. And then you have the other sons, the Nitiru, the ancient ones, the Anutu, who came and they established cities as Salam, peaceful cities, or Kodesh. And they established a land called Tamare. And it was there that another breed, or children of Nikibu, and we said it that way for a reason. Because remember men, Kidman was the disagreeable. And the Kibu was the agreeable on the table by some. Eve, Hawa. And it would, so there was two seeds. One went towards Nod, or as Nietzsche, Aperity, Atom Ray refers to it, the, the Las Vegas mentality versus the Disney World mentality. What we're out here doing here in Tamare is establishing a Disney World mentality. Where you're able to sit with your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, your best friend, your ex best friend. Overstep and enjoy yourself and walk around. You're not worried about somebody picking your pocket. How many people worry about somebody picking their pocket in this land? How many people? Okay, well, you're special. <laughs> but how many people really? I mean, how many people have children here today? And how many, keep your hands up, how many of you keep your hands up? Your, ch your child is sitting with you right now. Keep your hand up if your child is sitting with you right now. Now, for those who. Your, ch your child or your children aren't sitting with you right now. Are you worried? You know they're somewhere running down there, down the hill, flipping over somebody, and, but you're not worried. The worst that might happen, they'll run up to you and say, I stepped on an anthill, and I got bit by some red ants, and they hurt. But other than that, are you worried? Now, if this was Atlanta, would your child be sitting next to you? Matter of fact, would you even be sitting outdoors in Atlanta? See the difference? And this is what we're trying to do out here. Not trying, this is what's being done by our family. This is what he's doing. It took a great being to see this vision and make it manifest. And all we're asking is that you help build it. Overstood? That's the day and time we do. What type of effect would these trips to space going to have on mankind? Which, which trips to space? The, 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 the space station ideas on ideas that they have as far as moving people out of space. Well, when you say moving people, make sure we realize as the... Our